aside from our mathematical problem. We're going to be forming formula or what we call as literal equations in algebra. Now examples of literal equations are the formula for distance given rate and time, which you usually see in your physics problem, the area or the formula for the area of a triangle, which is given by A equal to one half times B times H, and the formula for finding the perimeter of a quadrilateral and it's going to be p equals twice of width plus twice of the length. Now, these are just examples of literal equations that we will see in today's lesson. We're going to be working on transforming these formula using algebraic steps on how to isolate one of the letters in the formula so that we can produce another formula from our original formula. Now, these are just some basic mathematical formula, and we're going to be working on those formula today. Now, before I present the operations or the steps in solving literal equations, let's work on this simple linear equation problem wherein we're supposed to solve for x. So in this linear equation, I have 5x equal to 7. And to have x by itself, or to solve for x, we need one step to do this. And that is by dividing both sides by 5, so that we can get rid of 5. And by doing so, x will be by itself, and it's equal to 7 over 5. Now, since this is a fraction, you can just leave it like a fraction, or you can uh, divide 7 and 5 to get or to get a different answer other than 7 over 5. But we're going we're gonna to leave it with a fraction. Now, going back to our lesson on literal equation, let's not use linear equation, and let's use the formula for distance given rate and time. So if you have d equals rt, and our goal is to solve for t, so we need to have t by itself. To do that, we need to get rid of r. Now, getting rid of R is not as easy as just erasing R and have T equals D. To get rid of R, you need to perform an algebraic step. And to do that, you need to divide both sides by R so that we can cancel this out. And T will be by itself so that T is equal to D over R. Now, you cannot simplify D over R because they are both letters. So your final answer will just be t equals d over r. And now we have produced a new formula. We have distance equals rate times time. Now we have time equals distance divided by r. So this is how we use our algebraic steps in solving literal equations similar to d equals rt. Now, in a linear equation, you've encountered problems similar to this one. We have 1 half x equal to 5. And if we want to get rid of 1 half by x so that x is by b by itself, we need to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of your fraction, which is 2. So if you multiply both sides by 2, 1 half times 2, this will cancel out. And you'll have x by itself. And you will end up multiplying 5 and 2, which gives you 10. Now, if we're going to relate it to literal equations similar to the area of a triangle, which is given by 1 half b times h, if we are going to solve for b, or have b by itself in our equation, we need to get rid of 1 half and h. So to do that, we need to do our first method, which is getting rid of the fraction. To get rid of the fraction, which is 1 half, you multiply both sides by 2 so that you can get rid of 1 half. And now you are left with b and h. Now you have 2a equal to bh, and your step is to get rid of h afterwards. And to get rid of h, you just need to divide both sides by h, and this will be our second step. And by doing so, we are now isolating b, so b is now by itself, so we have solved our equation, which is b equals 2a 
all over h. Now you cannot further simplify this anymore, so your answer will be 2a all over h. And that's how we solve literal equation of this type. Now in this example, before I go to my literal equation, I have 2 plus 3x is equal to 7. And we need to get rid of 2 and 3 by x. And to do that, we need to get rid of 2 first by subtracting 2 on both sides. So this will be cancelled and you'll be left with 3x equal to 7 minus 2. Now I'm not going to subtract 7 minus 2 so you will see the other steps that I'm going to be working on. So let's just leave this for now. So it's just 7 minus 2 and we need, need to get rid of 3 by x so I divide both sides by 3. So this is cancelled out. So now I'm left with x equal to 7 minus 2 all over 3. Now if you want to further simplify this, you can subtract 7 and 2, so you'll end up with 5 over 3. Now, this particular linear equation is somehow similar to our last example, which is the formula for the perimeter of a quadrilateral, which is twice the width plus twice the length. Now in this particular problem, I want you to get rid of W. So we need to have W by itself. So in that case, we need to get rid of 2, L, and 2. Now to do this, we can get rid of 2L right away. Since there's plus right here, all we need to do is subtract 2L on both sides. So by doing that, this cancels out and turns into a 0. Now we have P minus 2L. Now since you cannot combine P minus 2L like 7 minus 2, you will just leave it as P minus 2L, which is equal to 2W. Now our goal is to get rid of 2 by W so that W will be by itself. So our last, last step will be to divide 2 on both sides. So this cancels out. So we are now left with W by itself. And on the other side of the equation, now we have a new formula, which is P minus 2L all over 2. And that's how we solve literal equation relating to our algebraic steps that we learned before.